What's going on my YouTube fam and two squad? Today we're doing another Trader Joe's as you can see. Trader Joe's. This time it's the Korean inspired bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi. So we'll see what it's like. I Hopefully it is good. Um, I'm very picky about my Asian dishes that come from Trader Joe's because sometimes they put this kefir lime leaf in it. I'm hoping they don't have that in this. Yeah. So we'll see. Let's 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 start cooking it and I'll let you know how it goes. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of the Missing Tooth Mukbanger and we are back in our kitchen and we are doing another Trader Joe's cooking video. Cooking and eating video. As you guys saw in the introduction, I did cook this. It is the Trader Joe's Korean inspired bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi. Beef with kimchi. With veggies, grilled beef, and kimchi. Exciting. So as you guys saw in the, in the cooking process, I wanted to make sure that there was a little bit of a uh, crust on the rice. I love uh, fried rice that's really really crunchy. My mouth is watering. <laughs> I'm starving. It's already, you know you guys, we don't usually eat after 8 o'clock at least dinner. It's already 7.30. So, ooh, I'm excited to eat this. I wish you guys could see it really well. I'm trying to find a way to get this so that you guys can see it. Hold on. We gotta get creative guys. <laughs> so I have a bowl that's under here and I'm just gonna eat it like this. There it is, that looks good. And we'll see if we can try it out. I'm gonna use chopsticks and you can't see my face. So I'm gonna tilt over to the side right here. There it is. All right guys, as I said, this is Trader Joe's. We're gonna go ahead and try it out. I'm excited. Hopefully this is not too hot. Oh, I mean, I can hold it like this. Oh yeah, there it is. Check that out. Okay, so this is a little odd angle where I'm eating rice. Oh, check that out. All right, a few grains there. Hopefully I don't burn my gums. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not mad, guys. This is good. Check that. Check that out. Mmm. Has a really good, distinct soy sauce taste. It's like when you make fried rice at home, like if you make it at home. And you add soy sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of this kimchi. Since it is Korean food, I had some kimchi that I can use. We're gonna add some of this kimchi on here. It's supposed to be kimchi already, but I don't, I don't, I feel like I don't taste any of that kimchi. Let's put it, ooh, bitch. We can put it right here, right in the front. Um, I'll try to take that with every bite. So hopefully everyone is doing great. Um, by the time you guys see this video, it'll be the end of February. Um, so, there's the kimchi. <laughs> guys, I'm struggling over here with the chopsticks. Mmm. Because of the angle. Hold on. Y'all, I'm not gonna make, I'm, I'm gonna make sure that I just eat. Because I, I only have a limited time with you guys. So I'm gonna use this. Forget the damn, forget the damn chopsticks, okay? We're gonna make a big heaping spoon of food. Whew, there it is, guys. 
Check that out. Hot. Y'all already know I'll be burning my gums because I'll be so hungry and wanting to eat so fast. This is hot. Oh my god, I almost burnt my lips. Alright, that's a big that's a big heaping spoon, huh? Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. Now that I put the kimchi in there, now you can really taste the kimchi. Let me just go ahead and put some more of this kimchi on there, y'all. There it is. Check that out. Look at that big heaping spoon. Y'all want a bite? Got a little bit of the beef in there? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's good. Mmm. That beef is very flavorful, guys. It is really, really flavorful. You like my little angle? <laughs> I'm trying to be creative and when we do these mukbangs at home, guys. In the last home video that you guys saw, I did use um, a white plate when I did the dim sum or the shomai. Then the, right before that, I did, um, I used the Lazy Susan. And right before that, I used what I normally use in my home mukbangs is just the cutting board, our wooden cutting board that we don't use um, except for veggies. So... I'm excited that you guys can see different options and how we eat, or at least how I eat. There it is, guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, every is good. It's even better with each bite having some kimchi. Mm -mm -mm. I highly recommend it. Very simple to cook. Seven, eight minutes. <clears throat> you saw an earlier on the video where I was kind of pushing the rice down so you get a little bit of the crust. It is so good. It is super good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, last bite with you guys. Because the rest of this I'm going to share with my husband. get that big piece of kimchi right there mm. Mm -mm -mm. One more piece of beef mm -mm -mm. all right guys so check out mm. There I go again. This always happens to me. <clears throat> Check out Trader Joe's Korean inspired bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi. It's not bad. It's pretty good. For the whole container, guys, it's good for three people or two and a half people. For the whole container, it's 660 calories. And the total carbs is 98 grams if it's the whole thing. So, um, I probably ate about, this whole thing is 2.5 servings. So, I probably ate 1.25. <laughs> Maybe not even 1.25. Maybe about half. So, I am okay. I'm not guilty. I feel full. My hubby's going to enjoy the rest. Got a little bit of iced tea. That's not really iced. And of course, some kimchi. Good for probiotics and good for your, your tummy. Alright guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me on this mukbang, Trader Joe's. We'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out the memberships, guys. There's a few more people that I have become members and I appreciate you guys because you guys get to see all of our videos pretty early and way before anyone else could see them either premiered or released. Um, and thank you to all my Kuya Jello Eats uh, folks that are on Twitter. Sorry, did I say Twitter? <laughs> on TikTok. Thank you guys for supporting uh, Kuya Jello Eats and hopefully you guys are enjoying 
uh, the videos we do there, and of course our live streams that we've been doing recently. See you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye-bye, fam. Thank you.